but I have my diamonds, this, that, 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 that. Like, why are you telling us? If you really have that diamond, what are you doing with the brother out? Hey! What do you think is a boss lady? What do you guys, why is this boss lady teaching you guys? Why is your problem? I mean, actually, what? nobody cares, but you are what putting it to our face. Yeah. You can't shout, I'm the boss lady. You act it. Thank you very much, and I wish you all the best. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Cheers to Big Brother Ninja lockdown. Oh my gosh, I'm going to miss them so much. Like, legit going to miss them. But we're looking forward to the next set, by the way, which is supposed to start in this month of July. So please do not go anywhere. I'm your plug. I'm here for you all. Hi, guys, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, you came at the absolute right time. Do well to hit on the subscription button before you leave. Thank you. If you're a regular viewer, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. Guys, today is the finale of the Big Brother Ninja Lockdown reunion. And Ebuka started out with the guys. He called it bro code. So he started by asking them questions like, oh, when you first got into the house, did you see the other guys and you're like, oh my God, what's happening here? Of course, you're going to be going in with, ah, I'm the guy, I'm the guy. How did you feel when you met the rest of the other guys in the house? And you started with, ah, that when he entered, he felt like, ah, ah, now he me get everything, everything do all right. Only for him to see Eric, he said, ah, ah, see Eric with the muzzle. He saw Prince, Prince, they dance, they dance. He saw Prince, he said, ah, ah, this one, this one, this one, this people, then they here, only only me day. Then for Tochi, Tochi said, when he entered, he said, he removing cap. You guys, I know Tochi's chief dancing red cap now. He said, I remove cap when I enter. I see Eric. I see Kid Wire. Kid Wire get tattoo. I say, hey, whoa, me, I don't get tattoo. Who go help me buy? Of course, you are going into the house with the mentality of you being the winner. But besides you, when you entered and just shall looked at everybody who else did you think was going to win from your own speculation and brighto said he thought it was prince tricky he said he also thought it was prince and then he also thought it was also though he was thinking that it was eric at some point but later i said no 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 it's either going to be prince or also if you cannot ask the con that ah, con you being the winner do you ever think that you were going to win Lekon say ah how I entered the house thinking I was going to spend one week, a bit two weeks. So I said, I'm going to promote myself to the end. He said, hey, Buka, up until the time that you mentioned my name on that stage, I didn't think that I was going to win it in any way. But he was not, Ebuka was not like, but that's the beauty of the show. When you come in, you don't know what's up. You're just checking here and there. But then they will always shock you at the end. Moving on from there, they now brought in the ladies this time. They now, Ebuka now asked the ladies that, oh, ladies, what's up? How was it when you first got into the house? How excited were you? How did you feel, basically? And t -Badge started with explaining that, oh, she was really, really excited to have gotten into the show because she had auditioned for this show three times. So she was so excited to have gotten in and it was just so unreal to her that, oh, I'm finally here. Like, finally, finally, finally here. Ebuka now asked V that, okay, what was the whole situation shipping that was going on in the house? Did she see it coming? Was it a strategy? Or because this whole set, there was so many relationships. And V was like, you, there were 10 people in the room, 10 guys, 10 girls. You don't expect that they are not going to do something. Especially because they are together 24-7 every single day for weeks and months so things are bound to happen according to ebuka somebody had already said that it was about the air condition and yes because we was like it was the first night that i slept on new's bed and it was because of the cold i slept close to new that air condition did definitely play the role because maybe who knows if sir no sleep for that bed now we don't know where over there by now moving on he now asked nengi that okay nengi it's obvious that you were closer to the guys in the house is it that you relate more with guys or what was it about and Nengi was like, okay, normally she relates more with guys before she got into the house. But when she was going into the house, she left an open mind that, oh, whatever it is, relates with everybody, open mind, be free with everybody. But she said at some point, she started noticing that there was there was just a lot of judgmental things here and there. Oh, people started seeing her in some kind of way. People started complaining about her clothes, her dressing, her this. And she was just like, please, let her just move on with her thing and just go and be with you guys. The guys, they didn't have any problem, no wall at all. They don't judge you. They are cool with you. They are just there for you, basically. So that was why she gravitated towards the guys. And V concurred and said, yes, that's true. Now the guys didn't have any wall. That the guys were just really easygoing, no judgment at all. They were just really cool. And then we can ask the whole house, the girls. So are you people agreeing that the guys have it? And Dorothy was like, 
she doesn't know those guys they didn't help anything you know they didn't cook food for them you know they didn't do this they didn't do that except for brother that they said was stunning semo at this point here yeah, Ebukana kind of asks the ladies that okay is there anything that anybody wants to say to anyone here just to clarify anything anything at all just last words you want to say to anyone here and katrina the boss lady was the one that went first she was like here i want to talk to nengi i want to talk to nengi so she was basically saying to nengi that nengi i do not hate you as opposed to what the social media is saying or what it looks like i'm doing or having towards you i do not have hatred for you at all so i just want to put it out there i had a conversation with ozo and prince and dorothy about you yes but the reason why i had that conversation was it came from a place of oh i care about this person and i didn't just like the fact that she was flirting with different guys at the time and that was why i said what i said so i do not hate you it kind of said nengi what do you have to say about that nengi said hey well yes she has heard but at the time it didn't say first of all she wants to clear the air that she wasn't flirting let her just put it out there but at the time it didn't look like oh she didn't hate her on her because really it looks like that because according to nengi if you ask me about katrina just say oh five things about katrina i can't even really answer because i literally do not have any conversation with katrina in the house we didn't talk we didn't cross paths so i don't know why where all this hate was coming from and katrina was like i do not hate you that is what i'm just stating here i do not hate you the shasha said okay oh, Allah, i've heard i've heard and they moved on from there dorothy now also said she wanted to say something that she wants to talk about the whole pressure from fans all those fan wars here and there that they they should put themselves together and try not to take what the fans say seriously and just you know maintain peace as much as they can and and she also took out time to apologize to anybody that she might have spoken about in the house that oh anything i've said i may have come up to you as gossip or hurt you in any way i'm sorry she just apologized and oh there was just this mushy moment because like is there any other person is there any other person everybody kept quiet and dora also said that she's open to friendship so please if you are here cook food and invite me let me come to your house and eat so she's open to friendship after this time they were now joined by the rest of the guys so now the guys and the girls were together now if kind of started asking them that does anybody feel that oh they are regretting that they went on this show and it was a Re regret regret Dorothy was like please please dears if you regret just send me all the money to my bank account all the money you have just send it to my bank account no regrets here so after this they kind of directed a question to tricky t asking him that oh the whole pressure that comes with this whole fame and everything that how does he handle it that definitely there's pressure how does he handle it and tricky t was like see it was just that first two weeks when I came out that the pressure got on me. Oh, look, it's setting me when you're going for media rounds. Look, it's setting me when you show up at places. But you see, after that two weeks, yeah, he just told himself that, see, I cannot just come and kill myself and die. He said, people will literally come and ask him, uh uh, you're supposed to be driving a Benz. Why are you not driving a Benz? And he's like, how do you expect me to jump from Keke to Benz? It's like a progress. So he said, he just stopped trying to please anybody take me as i am just take me the way i am so that was what he did that right now he's living his life he's doing his best and it is what it People is gonna ask nengi okay nengi this whole celebrity thing and everything that is going on with you guys do you think that it makes you want to live a certain kind of lifestyle and everything because right now some of you you don't post with normal pictures with your, with your phone anymore you can't just snap selfie and post you have to use a professional photographer to take pictures of you and all that so nengi was like well yes um you can still live your normal life but when it comes to social media because you work with brands you work with important people you need to look a certain way present yourself a certain way on social media so that you can meet up the standards of the brand and that is why that side of their life look like that but besides that you can still live a normal life how is it now that they have come out of the house and how it used to be before and he was like ah see for him who oh, he prayed that when he comes out of the house and whatever this show is going to give him is going to be big definitely but it has exceeded his expectation that really really that he didn't know that it was going to be this massive that truly is not going to lie you that he has really wanted to blow for a long time you see this blowing thing he wanted to blow so he's not going to pretend like oh i don't like the attention or i don't like this or i don't enjoy that because for him he's still doing what he likes to do normally he will dress up and take pictures he will dress up in his kitchen and take pictures and that is what he's just doing it's just that he's doing it in a bigger way so yeah that is what 
what it is. He now moved on to ask Lekon. Lekon, you are the winner, so your own pressure is going to be on another level. So how are you handling the pressure? Lekon was like, the pressure is coming from three different angles. Being the winner, definitely. And then the fact that he's a music artist that came out of Big Brother's show. There's a certain perception that, oh, people that went for Big Brother, they don't really have talent. It's because they went for Big Brother that they are coming out. So as a Big Brother reality TV star, you need to prove yourself double the amount of time that you want to prove yourself because people are already not taking you too seriously because they felt like it was just luck or chance that puts you up there so it's a lot of pressure for him but he's trying he's doing his best as well if we kind of moved on to ask kid wire the question kid wire was like he doesn't think it's luck he doesn't think it's chance for him that he, he had already bought his house in london i said ah <laughs> brother where you they see this money? Where you they see this money? Where you they see him? But it was like he had already bought his house in London and he was going to relocate to London and just be there. But he said he was just scrolling Facebook and then he saw the post do a video. So he just sat down in his house and did video and submitted. That regardless of whatever it was, he was still going to go to London. And they kept cancelling his fight, cancelled his fight the first time, cancelled it again, cancelled it again. And now he's here. So he's seen it as destiny. He's not seen it as luck or chance and all that. That he was supposed to be there. That is why he's there in the first place. Dorana went ahead to say that the fans may be looking at it that, oh, these people just came out from nowhere. It's not as simple as they are seeing it. That they that are here seated, they know what they had to go through to be here. Like, there were processes, they did things. So, it's not just that, oh, we put you up there and all that. That they did something too. And yes, it's her luck, it's her luck. She's here, she's enjoying it. She did catch crews. Concerning the aspects where people are not taking you seriously because of the whole show also was like see before you came into the house you have a reality you have what you have planned to do with your life you you have all that so definitely when you come out of the house they're definitely going to pursue all those things so it is not fair that they will just brand them or maybe Nigeria people are see if they don't have lives before or they can't do kind of ask Lilo that for you you came out of the house really really early how is the pressure from your fans and people that were expecting a lot from you and Lilo was like oh the fame is for her to use it to sell herself, do the things that she wanted to do. So when she came out, she really just delved into what she wanted to do, started working on herself, and then she put out stuff. Then they asked Lucy how the pressure has been for her. She said it was quite difficult when she had just come out of the house. People just expected her to move from just the average person that she used to be to one big person. And she's like, no, allow me grow into this thing. So she said with tutelage and different people talking to her here and there she was able to grow and she can say that she has found her balance right now while priest said that for him he was lost at first that the fans really had power over him he found himself doing things that normally he would have done and he had to call himself to order after that what only said for her it was just pressure from herself majorly because before she got into the big brother house she was already doing a talk show she was already writing a book so she just had the pressure to keep doing more though it was difficult at first but now she's maintaining it for brighto that according to ebuka you you are not really in the entertainment world are they not pressures like oh what are you doing what are you doing and brighto is like he wasn't the one that was handling his social media up until like two months ago so the pressure wasn't coming to him directly it was going to his handlers his handlers would legit tell him, guy, you need to take more pictures, you need to snap. He said the first week when he came out, oh, the, the, uh, the fan love, everything was just really sweet. But after the first week, he's like, please, oh, the reason why I'm here, I, I need to go back, you know. So that was it. If Ghana went ahead to ask the housemates that, oh, are there pressures from their fellow housemates? Because definitely this person is doing this, this person is doing that. You check, they are doing this, this person is getting this. How was the pressure for you? And Eric was like, see, for him, oh, he doesn't have any pressure because he knows where he's coming from. He doesn't want to come out here to share his story. But he knows that from where he was and where he is right now, it's not just 100% difference. It's like 400% difference. So when he sees his housemates winning, his fellow housemates winning, he He's happy he would tell them congratulations it's all love for him they moved on to ask Tochi and Tochi was like see for him when he came out of the house the pressure was there he's not the kind of person that used to dress see yeah, Tochi Tochi you know they look at anybody face he just they talk in mind he's not the kind of person that used to dress or anything but when he came 
out of the house. He says, seeing that ah, he has to dress. So he, has, he says, see me, you see me. So now I will not be going to dress to be snack, go to do photo shoot and be doing. He said, what's all that? And then he was trying to meet up here and there. That before he got into the house, he used to do supervised sites. Oh, you put the cement here, put the block there. That was what he used to do. And he said one day he just got up and he was like, you know what, please them all distance let me just go back to my life so he went to site where it's overall and just went to site and people were like ah you went for big brother yeah it's time you're not supposed to be here he said please leave all those things so that was how he continued doing what he was doing and by the time people saw that he was doing that they got comfortable with him and they started giving him properties to you know consult with him and everything and what he's going to say is that just do you no need for all this pressure kill yourself don't do the one that you're not doing do you and have peace basically after they said we kind of went ahead to ask the housemates if this reunion was worth it and everybody was like yeah it's worth it that it's good that everybody has come here to you know speak their minds just you know air their own opinions clear the air lucy was like she was thinking that ah, it's not necessary to come here this thing is going to cause more wars between the housemates because anybody that has issues should have sorted it out before now but she said coming here now she has seen that oh it was really needed because she is not everybody that settled their whole fracas in the house and yeah this was really really helpful tochi now decided to give this very important speech where he was telling everybody please i don't like when i'm talking and people are talking he was like see guys we need each other we all need each other this is we are all we've got really we won't know what we need each other for but we need each other well v was like see not everybody necessarily needs to be your friend just have cordial relationship respect this person respect that person as far as you have the five to ten people that you're cool with everybody is fine and that was how they wrapped up this particular episode guys is the finale we're looking forward to the main show the main show the season six i can't wait anyways they showed us some clips that didn't make it to the reunion and everything is going to be on my instagram page please guys i keep saying this i can't post videos here please go to my instagram i'm going to leave it on the screen go to my instagram and go and watch all the clips that you need i'm going to end this video here and i'm going to see you on my next one bye guys